All right, so here's the drill. You're in the market looking for a new keyboard for gaming, and here are your requirements. You want it to be RGB, you want it to have mechanical switches, and you also want it to be 60%, but with all that, you don't want it to break the bank. You want it to be affordable and kind of budget friendly. And in today's video, I'm gonna answer just that. This is the new Gamdias Hermes E3. It's a 60% RGB mechanical keyboard that retails for $50 in the US as well as 3,700 rupees in India. Comes in both white as well as black color. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys my full review from the design and build quality to the key switches to all the cool RGB effects it has and how to change them and basically everything you need to know about this keyboard. The gaming experience, the typing experience, the you know, sound test of the keystrokes itself. And in the end, I'll answer your question. Should you buy it? Is it worth your money? So all that good stuff in this video. And if you're interested in technology related, PC related content just like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well as hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. But with that being said, this is Yusuf from TechDroids and let's get started. All right, so starting off with the unboxing experience of the Gamdias Hermes E3, you have a very colorful box with all the features and specs neatly labeled. Opening up the box, you'll get the keyboard itself in a foam protective sheet, and you have a small accessories box where you have your plastic keycap puller, which will help you, you know, take out the keycaps in case you need to clean the keyboard or something is stuck inside, you want to remove it. So it'll be pretty handy for that. And you also have a 1.8 meter USB Type-C to Type-A cable because this keyboard has a USB you know, Type-C port here and the cable is detachable, which is a really nice feature in my opinion. Cause let's say in the future your cable breaks down or it frays and it stops working. You don't have to change the keyboard itself. You don't have to buy a new one. Just get a new cable and it'll you know, start working like it was new. So I really appreciate Gamdias, you know, including that detachable cable. But one complaint I have about the cable itself is that it's not braided. It's white in color. Black keyboard, you'll get the black cable, but it should have been braided for this price. Just, you know, in increase its durability and the longevity of the keyboard itself. But that's something you can buy on your own as well as Gamdias can improve in the future. So let's say you're making a new version of this keyboard, include a braided cable. Now talking about the you know, design and build quality of this keyboard, it is very small, very compact. And again, it is 60% as I said. So the form factor is really tiny, but it is four centimeters thick, which is not a lot for you know, a keyboard like this. And it's 550 grams in terms of weight. So it's very easy to carry around. And I personally like you know, smaller keyboards. My main keyboard right here is the Gamdias Hermes E2. It's a 80% you know, or 80 keys keyboard. And this is a 60 person one. This is even smaller. So let's say you have a small desk, just like me for my gaming. Uh, you can, you know, use something like this because it saves you space, gives you more room for your mouse itself. And, you know, when you're playing games like Valorant and CSGO, you really require that mouse space. And when you have a small desk, having a small keyboard should really help. So, you know, the design and build quality of this keyboard, I really like. It's very tight, very compact. It's completely made out of plastic. It is good quality plastic and the build quality is decent. In the future, Gamdias can improve the build quality. Maybe, you know, make use of some metal if possible in certain places. But yes, there is some creaking noises in this keyboard if you do, you know, go really harsh on it. But there is no like deck flex. It is pretty good. And the keycaps are very sturdy. And I really like the, you know, build quality of the keyboard overall. Towards the back, you do have four rubber feet for, you know, grip and just the stability so the keyboard stares where you want it to and talking about keycaps itself they are you know double shot abs plastic keycaps which is what you expect for this kind of pricing so that's the build quality and design and the talking about the switches itself these are otemo blue switches which are rated for 50 million keystrokes and this keyboard has all the basic features like 1000 hertz polling rate uh, end key rollover, anti-ghosting, as well as, you know, the Windows key lock. So you can disable the Windows key if you're gaming, so it doesn't disturb you. So you just don't accidentally all tab out from a competitive game. That, in my opinion, is a really nice feature. And apart from that, the detachable cable, as I said, is really good. Now, this keyboard is not compatible with their Hera software. So Gamdia's Hera is not supported on this keyboard. I think it should have been. It would be very easy to change the RGB effects. 
All right, so another thing that you'll have to get used to with 60% keyboards is, you know, using one key for two or three functions. So here you have the FN1 button and the FN2 button. These will be used to activate, you know, keys that have two functions on them. For example, the number layout here, so from one to zero, these also act as your function keys from F1 to F12. So let's say you want to Alt F4, you press Alt, you press FN1, and F then you press the four key, and then you'll be able to close out windows and stuff like that. So again, that's something you'll have to get used to. There is a learning curve to it. It'll take some time, but in the end, you will get used to it. And it is not a big deal in my opinion. You are saving a lot of space. This is a small form factor and there's gonna be some quirks that come with it. So that's that. And the way you change and customize the RGB lighting on this keyboard is by using the function two button as well as all the you know last four function keys. So from F9, F10, F11, F12, all of these you know keys will be used for RGB lighting. So F9 will change the RGB effect. So there's 19 RGB effects on this keyboard. So let's say you hold FN2 and keep pressing F9, you will cycle through all the RGB effects. And there's a lot of them, so you won't get bored for the most part. Now, F10 is to turn on and turn off the RGB lighting. Now, let's say in the daytime, you don't need the RGB lighting because you're able to read everything on the keyboard very easily, you can turn it off. Now, F11 and F12 are for brightness, so F11 will decrease the brightness of the RGB lighting and the F12 key will increase the brightness of the RGB lighting. And talking about readability and visibility of things on this keyboard, the main legend itself, the main font of the keyboard is very bold and very gamery, very easy to you know, read even in daylight as well as in the nighttime. But the sub legend, the mini font right here for the you know, other functions, it's kind of irregular and not so uniform. Like here you have it on the top, but here you have it on the bottom. So my suggestion in the future would be to clean that up. But overall, the keyboard itself is really nice. The design, the build quality, the RGB effects, the key switches itself, in my opinion, are very nice. All right, so now let's talk about the typing and gaming experience of the Gamdius Hermes E3. So talking about the key switch itself, as I mentioned you know, before in this video, these are Otemo blue switches. They're very tactile and very clicky. The feedback is there and they have a lot of key travel as well. So in my opinion, they're very nice, very decent for this price and your experience typing and gaming is gonna be really nice on this keyboard. I edit a lot of videos, I play a lot of FPS games like CSGO and Valorant, and I also browse the internet and type a lot of emails. I can type you know, quite fast basically on any mechanical keyboard. I can average 80 words a minute, no problem. This keyboard has been no exception. The keystroke you know, felt very natural. There was a lot of key travel, as I said. The feedback was good, the tactility is nice. And in my opinion, it's a really nice keyboard for the price. For $50 or 3,700 rupees, at least in India, there is no competition for the Gamdius Herbies E3 in the market right now. And let's say you're looking for a 60% RGB mechanical keyboard, you can definitely check this one out. I'll leave links to Amazon as well as some offline retailers down below, so you can buy this and help the channel out in the process. So yeah, Amazon as well as Flipkart links will be down below in the description. So go check it out. If you wanna learn more about the Gamdius Herbies E3, I'll leave a link to their official website as well. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If this video was helpful, go ahead and smash the like button as well as subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. Also join my Discord server if you have any questions regarding my videos, it'll be linked down below as well. But with that being said, my name has been Yusuf. You guys have been awesome. Stay awesome, keep smiling, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.